So the first part of the game res process is called voxelization. And if you're familiar with DynaMesh and ZBrush, it's kind of the same thing. Basically what we're going to be doing is you're going to see each one of these individual objects here we have, let's go back to our selection here and we'll do select by name attribute. Incidentally, you can also turn off this value here. Oops, let's go ahead and have this selected. So we had, uh, we have our pieces geo selected and visible. So now I have access to all these. If you want, you can turn off this color groups and viewport if that's bothersome to you. And what I want to show you is as I hover over this, it's, it's called an eyepiece. It's just one group, but this group is actually made up of separate objects. So if we were to poly reduce this right now, every single one of these pieces would still be separated. So for example, here we'd have a separate screw with a separate ring around it and a separate cylinder that goes all the way through and a separate hinge. I don't need all of that information. What I basically want to create is an envelope for this entire piece that cuts out all the inside pieces. And the easiest way to do that is with voxelize. So in order to show this off, let's go ahead and blast off one of these things. I'm going to take, uh, hit the tab key, hit blast, or start typing in blast. And then we're going to drop a blast node underneath this pieces geo. And out of this pieces geo, we're going to blast off this eyepiece. And then we're going to get, again, hit this delete non-selected. And now we just have this isolated. So with just this geometry, I'm going to run a really quick manual voxelization. Hit the tab key. And if you go into the VDB section, there's a whole lot of VDB options for you. Or you can just start typing in VDB. And the one I want to select is this VDB from Polygon. So go ahead and click that one. And we're basically going to take, and I'm just middle mouse clicking in this network view so I can put this node below. And what I want to basically do is voxelize from Polygon's this blast node, which is just this geometry. And we're going to drag that into here. And I'm going to go ahead and select it and turn on visibility. So we can see what we're getting now is a voxelized version of this geometry. You're going to see with this node selected, we have voxelized parameters here. So we have voxel size. So if we take the slider and start moving it up, you're going to see that voxelized size is increasing. So we're going to 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. And as we're increasing in size, the voxel resolution is actually getting lower. So think of that in terms of if you've used Marvelous Designer or any particle system, particle distance, the smaller the value, the finer the result will be. And the larger the value, the coarser the result will be. The same thing is true with voxelized mesh. If you drag this down, you're going to see we're getting a finer result because the voxel size is getting smaller. As the voxel size gets bigger, it's got less resolution. So if we drop this down and say we uh, put this in a 0 0.01, now you're going to see we're getting a very, very precise voxel resolution. If we middle mouse click and start dragging this up, so here's 0 0.01. If we drag to the right, we'll get 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.07. You're going to see it's getting more and more coarse. So basically, this is going to be your voxel resolution. You're going to see a bounding box out here. That's actually uh, a function of the wireframe. If you hit Shift W, that'll turn that off. And I'll show you in the other node. You're basically turning off your wireframe. Well, let's go ahead and do it. So I select the blast node here, and then I turn on visibility. If I do Shift W, that's going to turn your wireframe on and off. And you can also go up here to the shading cube here. We could do like flat shaded only, or we can do flat shaded with wires or smooth shaded, et cetera, or just wireframe. If you want it, the hotkeys for that W is wireframe toggle on and off. And then Shift W is turning the wireframe on shaded on and off. But again, we're in here and we're basically taking this mesh and we're voxelizing it. Let's make this value, we'll just type it in 0 0.05. So We've basically taken this object here, which is a bunch of separate meshes. We voxelized the result. So now you're just getting, getting an envelope of mesh. If you get in here, you're going to see there's no separation between these meshes. They're all stuck together now. So the next step we need to do is turn it from voxelized information back to polygon. So if we hit the tab key and type in VDB, what you're looking for here is convert VDB. So we're going to drag this one in here. And then we're going to select this node, make it visible, and you have to tell it what you want to convert it to. So we're going to say convert to polygons. So now we're converting from our voxels back to polygons here. And if we have this node visible, we have that little blue box selected, and then we just click this one to get the parameters back, and we take this voxel size and we start changing it upwards, you're going to see the polygons that we're converting to are getting less resolution as our voxels are getting bigger, and of course, a more coarse result is, is being evaluated. So as we slide this back, those boxes are getting smaller and our polygon result is getting finer. So between these two operations, we're able to convert from our piece that has a bunch of separate objects to a nice solid envelope here, back to polygons, 
that we can now poly reduce as a game res mesh without a bunch of interior faces taking up space that we don't really care about. Uh, however, instead of doing it this manual way, this was just a demonstration on what voxelizing was doing. Uh, we don't need to do that. We have some game dev tool nodes that we can use instead. So I'm going to take these two nodes and delete them, and let's go into the game dev version of that. Thank you.